Greetings, Steve here at um, what's, oh, that place, West Green. Welcome to part eight uh, of the um, Martin Finney, or Finney, I should say. Again. Welcome to part eight of, of building the Finney 1928 Corridor Tender. This one's been built for the A4 Pacific. And I'm starting on the tender first. I haven't got many bits in the box now. But anyway, we'll get on with it. I think I've got to get back to bed. I don't want to be too dowdy and like, Hi here, it's Steve here. I'm so boring. I think I might go and watch the paint dry. Anyway, so what is going on? Oh, yes. And Manavalanian Sivara Supermanium. Station Master West Green sends his regards. You haven't seen him for a while, you know where he is? He's gone back to Tamil Naidu, to Uti on the New Green Mountain Railway. And that's, uh, there is a place called Uti, and it is on the New Green Mountain Railway. And fabulous, uh, if you go on the YouTube and check it out. In fact, I'm going to put a link in this part. I could, uh, it's a narrow gauge railway, goes up to uh, Uti and the Nilbury Mountain Ranges. Anyway, that's another story. So, what am I up to? Uh, before I put all this tender together, I've got a. This is what I'm doing. I've built in the corridor connection. It's pretty convoluted, and you, 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 even though it goes together well, you've got to read it and read it read ahead and go back. In other words, you've got to get the crystal ball going before you know what you're doing. So, so far, I've got a few bits out. Let's see what I've got out. Got this piece out. That fits down the bottom. The spring's going to go in here. This corridor tender. The corridor actually is sprung loaded. That's one mil rod. And his springs go on that, so that's good. That's the rear door. I folded it up, and that's the uh, the outside. That's this piece here. Oh bloody! That, that way, that way. Hey, I don't know. I'm in Australia. Oh, that makes more sense. <laughs> oh, what about old Tommy Cooper? Eh? Australian. Remember that the old Tommy Cooper rope trick. He said, look, 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 India rope trick. And he gets the rope and he, he wouldn't stay up. So then he hangs it up, <laughs> upside down. And he says, look, look, Australian rope trick. I'm a sad case. I like people like him and Spike Milligan. Anyway, so that's what I'm doing. I've just, all I've done is I've bent the sides up. I'm going to solder it. These flat these go over and those pins look like they go in there. We'll find out. Anyway, I'm back to it. And I hope you enjoy this video as much as I do making it. So this is the um this is the corridor, uh, the rear door. The sides are folded up and the, and the footplate. Oh sorry, the step. Or the floor I should say. Also got these two one mil rods in. These got little washers on the end, and then they've been soldered. I think you can see here. These fold over, so you have to put these in first. So I'm going to fold this back on itself, so they'll be captive. So that's what I'm going to do now. So here we are again. Still working on this corridor tender from the same part number. So. Sometimes I think I need my alter ego. I don't know. He's man of an alien, super Station master is West Green. I feel better now. Old Manny of an alien. That's a Tamil name, by the way. And uh, Old Manny, my alter ego, is from Tamil Nadu, which is one of the southern states in India. And uh, the World Heritage listed New Green Mountain Railway is there. It's on my bucket list. So, old man of an alien, Sivara Supramanium. Uh, 
he is my in my alter ego. He's a, he used to work for the Nilgiri Mountain Railway. He was at station master at Uti. And just so you know, this is not a joke. This um, Nilgiri Mountain Railway. If you look in the description, I'm going to put a link to a YouTube video, a fabulous video. And it's after I watched it, I thought I've got to go there. I just have to go there. Anyway, enough of my stuff. Here's the um, the back of the tender, the uh, tank, and I've soldered on the corridor top. I've done all the uh, rivets. Um, I've got to be soldered together. What I have made up is a corridor connection. Now, there's a corridor back, the plate, uh, there's a... Uh, so basically, well, this, this actually works. Why would you make it work? Why wouldn't you just use a white metal casting like most people would? Well, this is a Finney kit, and Martin Finney thought, why do you do it? Because you can. So anyway, this actually is sprung. Look at this. So it's not absolutely finished yet. I've got to put the, uh, the rest of it on. But basically, this is one piece, folds up. If you, oh, sorry about the focus. If you look at the top, these half hatches they fold round, but what you do is you get some one, you get one mil brass tube, you put sold little washers on, and before you bend these around, you put these inside so they're held captive. You then put springs on them. You put five mil chock in between there, or wood. That's five mil, so I, so I put that in there, and you make sure the studs. Are pressed hard up you make sure these studs are pressed hard up against sorry is this going to you make sure those studs are pressed up hard against there with with this in you got uh with that chock in you've got the um excess out there you press that down hard on it then you solder and then you file it off see so you can see these so i don't know if i've explained it very well you can see they go in like that. At the top, again, what I did, so that was that side there. Um, to do those ones, what I did was I put a file underneath it because you've got to make sure these, when you solder, those washers are hard up against that, where they fit there. So, And then you press down on the corridor connection, you've got your uh, excess rod solder it and file it off and now i've got a working corridor connection so that's it this is my music stand this is a bit, bit of music actually it's a good idea i think the music stand isn't it for the instructions that means i can put all the bits on here i feel like i'm at school hymn sheet <laughs> oh we plow the fields and scatter the good seed on the land have a banana. Da, 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 da. I remember all that stuff. I'm actually quite mad. Anyway, I hope you enjoy my videos uh, for what it's worth. Um, actually, someone put, someone made a comment. They said, and this is, I'm on a few Facebook groups, and someone said, the good thing about my videos is you make you, they make you feel like you can have a go yourself because it is true that there are some people on Facebook who are just freakly, freaky and exceptionally good at building and painting. And even I think perhaps I should just give it up and buy a ready-to-run model because I could never build to their standard and never paint to their standard. Uh, but I just accept that um, some people are really, really good at things, you know, like, like anything in life. It's like me being good at sport. <laughs> I'm going to start laughing. I was hopeless at sport. I hated it and still do. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to continue on. Well, I'm back. So, here I've got the tank top, the hopper, two sides, the chassis, a nice piece of 
and I'm in your angle. I'll just put this in here. Come on. So that's what it will look like. That's the, uh, I've done the, virtually done all the back. I'm just following the instructions. So I've got the, the uh, steps on. This is sprung. I had a few issues with it. Not because it's a bad kit, because of, I've got issues with me and my uh, steadiness and my eyes and a whole host of other things. So there's lamp brackets. I found some of these a bit difficult, but that's again, it depends how good your eyes are and how steady you are. Uh, handrails, yeah. So this is it for this part. Giving it a bit of a clean up, probably need a bit more. You know, it never quite looks like showpiece like some people make them. But I guess that's the problem, isn't it? I suppose when you see stuff, especially if you're on a Facebook page, you realise there are some people out there, like anything else in life, who are just, you know, so good at stuff, like would be at sport, playing music. There's a lot of average people, but then there's exceptional ones. Well, I'm not exceptional. But anyway. Uh, I think that's it. You've got to give it a go. I think everyone should try and give something a go. Anyway, that's it from me for this part. Please uh, like, subscribe if you want. Subscribe. Press the bell icon so you get all my exciting updates. <laughs> Including Man of Anadian Sivaras Supermanium. Checking out here from West Green. Oh, and of course, Steve.